Hello, I'm Yan Fu Kuo from National Taiwan University. Uh, today, the topic that I'm going to share is measuring the length and identify the species of dewatered fish and measuring the length of shrimp in vivo using intelligent machine vision. So let's start our first talk, uh, that is the fish project. So in the fish project, we want to identify the fish species and also measure their length. And uh, we know fish is a major dietary protein source. And in 2015, approximately 81 million tons of aquatic products are harvested. And that is a vast amount. However, the uh, Food and Agriculture Organization uh, indicates that a Approximately one third of the fish stock were overfished. So, this is a very big number, and that means the conservation and the protection of the marine resource is required. And that's the reason why we send observers uh, to fish vessels to monitor uh, the operating of the fish harvest process. And uh, sending the observers to there is actually laborious, and also we have a concern on their personal safety. So uh, that's the reason why we develop the electronic monitoring system, also called EMS. So EMS is a system that is installed on fish vessels. It includes camera and also computer and it can monitor the process of uh, the fish harvesting. So using EMS, we don't have to send human observer uh, to fish vessels, but we still need human to interpret the EMS images, and that is still laborious. So the objective is to identify the fish in an EMS image automatically and we use a convolutional neural network, CNN, here. And the image is the input to the CNN, and the output is the species of the fish. And in this study, uh, here are the species that we are identifying. These are the common uh, fish that harvested by low niner. And we have four tuna species, five billion fish, and uh, some others, and actually five other types of fish, and include shark. Because there are too many sharks, so we just put all the sharks together in one category. And here, uh, here is how we uh, collect image and deal with the image. And first we collect uh, total more than 24,000 uh, images of fish body. And first we resize them. And next, we do image augmentation. And the augmentation includes scaling, shifting, rotation, flipping, blurring, and their combination. And the purpose of the image augmentation is to make the model more robust. And uh, for the CNN model, we choose mobile net V2. And this is because we want uh, to implement this uh, approach uh, in the computers on vessel. And so we choose a compact model. And uh, here are the details uh, of our model training. So in this uh, confusion matrix, we show the, the performance of our algorithm. And here we can see the overall accuracy is approximately 95%. And here, in this confusion matrix, you can see these box uh, are tuna. And these are bill fish. And you can tell that when a tuna is misclassified, it is usually misclassified as another type of tuna. And so uh, is that for the bill fish. And so we move to the next objective. Uh, so uh, the next objective is to measure the body length of the fish. 
and here is defined body length of the fish. So how do we do this? We do this also through a uh, CNN. We use another CNN to segment the body of the fish from the background. And then we use the plate with a fixed dimension to estimate the size of the fish. And we include all sort of different fishes in training, so the model can detect fish uh, of different species. And uh, here are the steps of uh, processing the image. First, we resize the image uh, into appropriate size. Then, uh, we label the fish. Uh, here uh, is how we label the fish. We uh, connect the contour using dots. And we also la label the uh, color plate in the image. And we label approximately uh, 10,000 images. And the model we use to uh, segment the fish body from the background is called YOLAG. And YOLAG is select because it is also a compact model. And here are the training details. And here shows some sample images of uh, the segmentation. And overall, we use 2,400 fish images to evaluate the, uh, the performance of uh, the CNN we trained. And here you can see it's uh, doing pretty good. And the overall mean average precision is approximately 93%. And then next, we use the segmented a body, a fish body, to estimate their length, and uh, for the length estimation, uh, error is approximately five percent, and this is a pretty fast uh, algorithm. In a sense, uh, if we use GPU, that uh, image uh, processing time is approximately uh, 54 milliseconds. Using a G uh, CPU is approximately two seconds. Now let's move to the next topic, that is the shrimp body length estimation. So we know shrimp is another major protein source worldwide. And actually in 2018, the production of shrimp reached 4.5 million metric ton. Uh, it's a big amount. And in Taiwan, White shrimp is a very popular shrimp because uh, it's many nice properties. Uh, however, uh, in 2018, uh, the production of shrimp, shrimps uh, in Taiwan. And so the objective of this uh, research is trying to measure the body dance of shrimps in vivo. And the purpose of doing so is that we want to see the activity level of the shrimps and we want to also estimate how much feed we have to provide to the shrimp so they can uh, have enough food. On the other hand, we don't waste any feed. And this is the system we develop to measure the shrimp body length in vivo. We develop an underwater image system. It's over here. So uh, it, it has a camera, and the camera is connected to an embedded system over here. And the embedded system can use the camera to record video and use Wi-Fi to send the video to a cloud server in our lab. So uh, on the server, we can use the video to train uh, the model to, to detect the shrimp and also to measure their body length. And the camera uh, can be operated in three modes. One is color, another is grayscale, and the other is infrared light. And the camera are uh, the videos are recorded in uh, full uh, HD mode, and we collect uh, many images, but we only label 500 of them, and 400 are used for training, and the other 100 is used for test. And here are the data we prepared uh, to train and to test the model. And because in each image, there are multiple shrimps. 
So we actually label approximately um, 5,000 shrimps. And the shrimps are categorized into two types. One is measurable. That means the, sh the shrimps are very clear. And uh, the other type are visible. And that means the shrimp is either incomplete or blurred. But they can be detected in the image, so we still label them. And the model we use to detect the shrimps are, uh, Yo uh, is YOLO V3. So here are the detection results. So you can see this is an input image, and uh, the model can detect like measurable shrimp, which uh, is very clear. But for the detected one, it's blur, or it is incomplete. And overall, we reach a mean average precision that is 85%. But for the measurable one, it is higher. And after the shrimps are detected, uh, the next step is uh, to measure their body length. And we measure the body length using a series of image processing. And that includes the median blur, MSR algorithm, gamma correction, o method, and collected component labeling. And then we use the minimum bounding marks uh, to determine the length of the shrimp. And here is the length estimation performance. And we have a root mean square error that is approximately 5-6%. Uh, and here is the summary of uh, this study. For fish identification that uh, we reach an accuracy of 95% for identifying 14 species or types of fish. And the fish body length estimation has an error that is approximately 6%. And for these two calculations, using a CPU, they are all uh, within two seconds, each of them. And for the shrimp detection, uh, we use YOLO V3, and the performance is approximately 85 in mean average precision. And the error for uh, Shurin body length estimation is approximately 5%. And these are using a video stream on a cloud server, uh, so the uh, frame rate is not an issue. And these two projects are funded by Council of Agriculture and the Fish Agency. So I would like to acknowledge their support. And this is my presentation. Thank you very much.